As a library developer, it's common to run with the embedded uh, hypersonic uh, database. This runs as part of the library process and saves uh, the data to uh, files on the on the disk. And it's frequently useful to be able to connect to this database and have a look at the tables and have a look at the data for debugging for other purposes to understand uh, what's going on or why there are problems or what the data is that, uh, that Lifer is creating. So we're going to have a look at how we can connect to this and you'll need uh, first of all an SQL client so Squirrel uh, SQL DB is quite useful. There we go, if you type in Squirrel SQL DB you get to the home page and you can click on download and we'll download the Windows edition, so click there and that'll uh, start the download. Uh, it's about 55 megabytes, so it'll take about a minute to download. Um, once it's downloaded, uh, you can either click on the jar file, so this is a version number, um, or if, like me, you like using the command line, just run the Java, Java command with the jar parameter and with the um, pointing to the uh, Squirrel installer. And this actually runs a, a little installer application, so you just run through this and install it on your hard disk. Uh, I did that earlier, so I'll just start. You'll see that um, Squirrel, the Squirrel client's installed here. And the first thing you'll need to do is go under the Drivers tab here, and under uh, HSQLDB, normally this will be a little uh, red cross here, I've already installed it, uh, click on that, um, and we need to uh, basically install the, uh, the driver files for, the, for that, the executable, and that you will find under the, um, under the Liferay portal Tomcat install. So if you click out here and then navigate to um, to Liferay portal Tomcat lib ext and select the hsql.jar file. That's all you'll need to actually connect to the hypersonic database. Make sure this is uh, the class name is org hsqldb jdpc driver. So once that's done, click on aliases, click on plus, and what we'll do we'll connect to Liferay Enterprise Edition. So I'll call that Life for Enterprise. I'll select the driver, which should be in green, or blue tick in this case. And anything you need to put in here is the location of the uh, of the database files on your disk. So if we go to uh, the Life Ray uh, DXP Enterprise directory, uh, click on Data, click on Hypersonic. And it, the actual uh, database file is L portal. That's where all the data is stored. So if you uh, click there, you can copy and paste that location. There's actually a little dot in there. It's probably quite hard to see. Type in that URL and add L portal on the end. And uh, that's all you need to fill in. So you can see users, etc., etc. Uh, Life Ray DXP Digital Enterprise data hypersonic L portal. Click OK and then if you select that uh, you don't need to type anything else in just click connect. Ah, cor correction, you need to type in SA as a username. You don't need to give a password because it's just a little embedded database. And here if you select public and tables you'll see the library database, so uh, you've got your assets, uh, um, you've got uh, file entries, etc. Expando uh, for um, variables that you create on the library, um, and uh, for example, um, configuration is configuration you find under the control panel, so the, the values that are entered there, and uh, Squirrel's actually quite good for editing this data. So why would you want to do this? Um, if you're debugging or you want to learn more about how the data is stored or if you want to examine the data that's been stored then it's quite useful for those purposes.